What is up YouTube? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Fabulous K back at it again with another YouTube video. And y'all today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag back to school video plus emergency kit. Y'all, excuse me for like not uploading for like a week. Like I've been really contemplating about this video idea. I'm like, do I post it? Do I not? Is it still getting views right now? Do I not? If you wanna strike something, you just have to put your foot forward and just keep going. Even if it doesn't do well. Like you can't doubt yourself, you know? Just keep going, keep posting, keep doing it. Find foot you want in life, you know? Don't ever be scared of success. Don't ever be scared of not reaching your goal, reach, something like that. You know what I mean? But yeah. So today I'm gonna be doing a what's in my bag and i'm honestly i don't know because i think i'm gonna order a new bag i'm not sure if i want to go to school with this bag anymore because like it's not giving enough extra it's giving like maybe the third week to the fourth week i don't want to i don't want to have my first day first was pink so like everyone didn't go in my outfit anyways and then it's like i don't know i don't know this bag was a gift as well you guys so yeah. So starting off with the bag, it was around the price actually on it. It was six hundred and fifty dollars itself. This is the MCM medium tote bag, I believe, and the color pink. And this is supposed to be my original back to school bag, but now I'm looking at some other back to school bags, and I think I might get those instead of wearing this every day. Because first of all, I'm waiting for a rainy day. You don't want to wear this through the rain. It's six hundred fifty dollars. Going straight down the drain. Boom. So what? Like, no, I would not want to wear this shit into the rain. Like, are you crazy? Are you crazy? Are you from New York even? Are you from New York even? Yeah. Are you from New York even? Do you have a big black puffer jacket even? Are you from New York even? Period. Okay, so. Starting off, we're going to start off with my not emergency school kit but it's like a pouch that comes inside of a big bag so we're gonna get straight to that so this isn't my emergency kit i have a totally different bag so the bag is my emergency school kit this is like a bag that just has some type of stuff inside of it so starting off i have some snacks y'all y'all don't know me i'm an eater i like to eat during class i eat in every single class i have an issue i don't know but yeah so these are Luna Doom cookies. Next up, I have my Apple Watch. I have no idea why it's inside of here. I just like, sometimes I just leave stuff inside of my bag sometimes, but it's my Apple Watch. Next, my glasses. So guys, these aren't um, prescription or anything. I just like wearing glasses on my bad days. Like if I look bad, I like wearing my fake glasses. Like if I look bad, why not just look bad to the fullest? You know what I mean? Nobody will notice that it's me. I know you're gonna notice, but like, if I look bad, I wanna look all the way bad. Like, I just like looking all the way bad. I don't like looking semi bad. It's make me look all the way bad. I might as well wear a bonnet and put on my damn glasses as well. Like, next, you guys, I got some money. Um, I don't know why I have so many singles. I have no idea why, but this is like, um, cat money or something like that. Cause I really carry my money on cards, but I've been like using cash lately. Cause like, I don't know, but yeah. Next up you guys, I have like, I have a gift card in here and usually I go to like McDonald's something with it. It's like a hundred dollars on here. So like, yeah, with McDonald's or something like that. And you guys, I have my chapstick. If you know me, you know I carry like 10 of these around me every single day. Like, this is literally the only thing that fits in here. It's sad. Like, yeah. Let me scoot over a little bit. I feel like I'm not in the middle, really. Then I have my high school ID, y'all. Can I show you the picture? I feel like... Okay. Y'all can see the pic... Can y'all see the picture? Can y'all see? Okay. I look terrible. I look terrible. Should I show y'all? Nah. 
And then I have my job name tag. I work inside a subway, so. Then I have some lip liner. I used to do the lip liner with the lip gloss coat on top. You know, you, know, you guys know what I'm talking about? I used to do that a lot. But yeah. So that's basically concludes what's inside of this bag. And so we're on to the next. Okay, so inside of my bag, I have my water bottle. And this water bottle, y'all, I got from Puerto Rico with my family when we were on a um, Puerto Rico trip. I saw the vlog. If you guys want it, I can upload it. But yeah. Next up, you guys, I have my portable charger. And if you don't have one of these, I suggest you go and get one because if you go to school where you have, if you go to a school, you're able to use your phone. Nine times out of ten, then we definitely get out of school. And I was going through that my whole freshman year, so it's like I kind of learned from it. Like, don't come into school without your charger or portable charger. Like, and then kids be stingy with their chargers, so it's like I'm gonna be stingy too. Don't touch my charger. I don't care if I know you or. If you're cute or if you're sweet or none of that, don't act for my charger. Don't touch. Don't touch. No touchy. No touchy. It's not gonna be done. And but can I buy no touchy? No touchy. Don't touch my shit. Next up, you guys, I have my binder. I kind of already showed you guys a school supplies haul inside of my last try on haul, but I'll just show you guys what I have inside my bag. So I have my binder. Binder dividers. Lucy paper. I have a book. And then I have um these paper made ballpoint pens. And then last but not least, I have some mechanical pencils by paper mate. And all I use is um mechanical pencils and pens, so I mean this from the kindness from the bottom of my heart. Please do not ask me for my pens or my pencils when I get back to school because I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna be in, I'm gonna say in the sweetest way possible. But don't ask for my stuff because like I hate when you, you lend a pencil out and you never get it back. And it's like I'm not gonna ask for something that I lend to you that you said you're gonna give back to. I'm not gonna ask for it. Like you told me you were gonna give it back. So why didn't you give it back? So now therefore you cannot have the pen or the pencil at all. Don't ask me. That's it and that's all. So I had my charger to go along with my portable right here, and this is just the shorter length. Last week I had like a nine feet inch. Didn't make any sense, but yeah. Okay, so yeah, now we get into the goody goody, the goody goodies. Okay, that basically concludes the end of what's inside of this bag, and we're on to the emergency kit now. When you first open it. Okay, this is like the top tier emergency kit. So yeah, we're gonna get straight into it. Okay, so you know how people be like musty inside of school? Like, yikes. Don't be musty, babes. Don't be musty. But yeah. Okay, so I have my deodorant, the Dove um, Invisible Care. And you can just spray this on, spray like two sprays before you go to gym or after you get out of gym or in between gym because it's not cute to be a female and then smelling musky. So I could do a, I could do a hygiene routine as well if you guys want me to. But yeah, everybody has their off days. You're going to smell off like one time, one after blue moon. You know, some people forget to put on deodorant like me. Half the time I do because I, I have like bad allergic reactions to like different types of deodorants and i've been using spray for like four plus years now that's all i use and i switched back to the powder like two weeks ago babes powder hands down because powder is like it's just way better than the spray like spray sticks on for like 20 minutes and then you be like do i smell musty or am i just no the freaking powder bomb okay so next Next, I have some wet one wipes. Um, just like san sanitizing wipes, so you can use these. These are basically like alcohol pads, or you can use hand sanitizer to wipe the hands. You know, whatever the case may be. Um, I'm not sure if you can use these for down there. I've never, I'm not even sure. I'm pretty sure these are just for your hands, hand sanitizing, hand sanitizing wipes. So, yeah. 
Next, you guys, I have a comb. So right now I have in braids, but usually I always have in wigs or weaves. You know, that's like my go-to hairstyle. All the time I get wigs or weaves. And I just have a brush. It's like a brush comb. You can part your hair, you just comb it down, stuff like that. And here's the brush. And it's good to try, it's good to travel around with a brush because you need one. You don't want your wigs to be everywhere. I have to get out of the gym. I have to get out of dance or something like that. Or volleyball. Whatever whatever sport you play on, whatever you do. You don't want your wigs to be messed up. So you guys, I have perfume. And it's like all I feel like all girls should have like a travel size or a perfume to take around with them. Like and this is just from Victoria's oh well, this is not perfume, this is body mist. And it smells really good. And this is Thorn to be wild by Victoria's Secret Pink or Pink, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I recommend going get this, y'all. If y'all want a perfume or a little body mist to put on after you get out of the gym or after after the day is done, after after you get out of the class, literally just spray some perfume. Don't be that girl that be like this. Please don't be this girl that goes to the class like. Girl, what do you do all of that for? Like, I swear girls be trying to get a lot of... <laughs> I swear I be trying to get people's attention. Like, why are you spraying 30 squirts of perfume on your side of class? They be like, and then the teacher be like, this week we had to have asthma. You can't be doing that. And I be like, okay. So, I advise you would not do that inside of class. Okay, boo? Okay. Next up, I have a mini deodorant. So, minis are always good to carry around. And, yeah, this is just the, what is this? This is the Cool Advanced Care. And this is the cucumber one. You should always have a little travel size deodorant to take around. If you can't find one to a beauty store, um, get the regular size one. Or you can either get a little one off of Amazon. But, yeah. Well, try Dollar Tree. I'm pretty sure Dollar Tree has them. Next, up, I have my asthma pump, you guys. I have severe, very, 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 very bad asthma. And I have my red pump. I usually take this on if I'm like in a bad asthma attack state or like if I just having a hard time breathing, I usually take short breaks and I just like squirt it twice. Sometimes like six or seven, and I just like start like. You know and this is for my younger babies okay babes if you have asthma and you're like a lower classman you're like freshman or like middle school or even elementary please don't let anybody play with your stuff it's not a game when it comes to asthma it's not a joke neither should your friends think it's a joke i used to always let my friends borrow my asthma pump and, act and pretend like they were smoking it's not cute at all why you why you using somebody's medical equipment to just be cute and sneaky with it like it's not cute to be acting like you're having an asthma attack or trying to smoke with it you know you guys i have a travel size lotion from bath and body works and it's just sweet pea you guys i have um two lip glosses i have one that says she makeup glossy lips and this is more like a lip balm i think the person wearing right now Broadway Honey Lip Gloss, Ultra Lip Gloss, and when it says She Makeup Glossy Lips. And these are the two that I use. These are usually, these are like my usual combo. Or I use a lip balm that I showed you guys before. So I use my lip balm that I showed you guys before and I use this lip gloss and that's usually what I put on all the time. Next up you guys, I have a comb. Like I said, for my hair, when I be having my weaves in, you gotta comb your hair down. I have a brush and a comb on deck because, baby, it's giving. Next up, you guys, I have my band-aid. So, I don't know if you guys get cuts in school or anything. I be tripping down the stairs and stuff. Like, I'm really... It's not all up there. But, I be tripping down the stairs and stuff. Or, like, if I, I get a paper cut easily... Or if you guys did it, like if you get a paper cut or if you like trip and gym once you trip down the stairs, band-aids, bring your band-aids on deck. And 
yeah i have the one that's like graphic or whatever it really doesn't matter just get you a pack of band-aids boom next up i have some hand sanitizer from bath and body works and this is the boardwalk vanilla cone and i showed you guys this in the last the video before the last video i was posted this is just the hand sanitizer next up you guys we have tampon i personally don't use tampons because i don't know if you can use these i'm not sure if you can use these if you're like i'm not sure i'm not sure how the tampon process works but i know i don't kind of know how to insert it upside me so i'm not gonna put it inside of me but you guys should always carry a tampon or a pad on you i have some pads but i don't feel like getting it right now but yeah so these are the the tampons so yeah next up you guys i have some lotion hand lotion this is shea butter and this is from a bath and body works set and this is four dollars and yeah last but not least you guys i just had me a pack of gum okay so if your friend breath stinks tell her in the most subtle most calm way that you can don't try to break out in a group of friends that be like oh her breath stink or don't talk about it after i leave school and be like did you smell her breath that's not cute don't talk about your friend behind their back if your friend breath is stink okay so what i would do because i've done this before what i would do is pull them aside and just like or whisper in the air. Take them aside, whisper in the air. And if, and if the other friends feel like they're getting talked about, then so be it. Because nobody's talking about you. That's one. And two, I'm just trying to, you know, like, put my friend on. Like, tell her what's really good. Like, all right, so, I your friend best thing. Boom. Be like, girl, I want to tell. Like, I don't know. You don't have to be mean about it. Just be like, like, girl, um you like girl you want a piece of gum like your breakfast kind of stink today or i don't know um because i'm i've been in a situation before where my friend breath was stinking i didn't tell because like certain people just don't have the urge to tell their friends that their breath stink or something like that you know but other times it depends on how comfortable you are with the person like friends i was like this way i've told them like your breath is kind of off today or like something like that just try not to be mean about it and try not to talk about her or him with other friends because it's not cute. I'd rather you tell me I'm stink or my breath is stink than to talk about it behind my back. Like, what's your motive? What's your motive for going to talk about me to your other friends? Our other friends. Like, make it make sense. That's weird. You're weird. Your friend is linking up with her boo after school or your her boo goes to the same school. Like, what's your motive? You could have told me before I got my man face my breath would stink. Like, you could have told me, girl. And I'd be like, oh, okay, let me go and give me a piece of gum. Or let me get a mentos or something. Like, yeah, but you guys carry gum with you at all times. Even if your breath isn't stink, just carry gum with you. And if the whole class is asking for it, damn, just... Sometimes you gotta be mean with it too. Sometimes you gotta be mean with the gum. I'm sorry, like no. If you don't have at least five, if you don't have at least five pieces of gum for yourself left, nobody's not getting anything else. That's it. Like, if it's like a little pack of spearmint, okay, you can have like a good one or two pieces of gum for your back. I don't like how when I have this little pack of gum, the whole class when it comes running to me, like, do I know you? Do I know you? Oh. Let me stop. But y'all, yeah, this basically concludes the end of this video. If you guys want to see more of me, like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. There we go. Oh, and turn your post notifications on. Um, yeah. So I love my babies, and I'll see y'all in the next video.